Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan. In this module, we shall learn one of the most important concept in our course, Complete Python, a step-by-step -step guide, that is object-oriented programming, which is popularly called as OOPS. And many people call it as OOPS with a very sad face and usually say that we won't be understanding anything in object-oriented programming. And that is the reason they mentioned the feature itself as OOPS. The reason for that is whenever a student starts learning a programming language, most of the time, usually they start with C language, where in the first week, we learn that C is developed in that laboratory and he is the father of C, etc. We will get lots of gyan and full exercise for the ants. Second week, we start with data types and we discuss about for this data type, what will be the minimum value and what will be the maximum value, etc. Third and fourth week, the most happiest week for the C language learners, where they start learning control statements, if, while, for loop, etc. And writing a program to generate a prime number and Fibonacci series, we start imaging ourselves as next Bill Gates, right? Fifth week, they enter into arrays where we still enjoy by working on single, two and multi-dimensional arrays. Sixth week, they start with structures and unions. We start a feeling that C language is also complex. Seventh week, they start with pointers and files no one understand anything and eighth week the course itself will be completed and immediately as a student we will inquire for when is the next C++ batch and we join the batch first day we get all Gyan C is a procedural language C++ is an object oriented programming language second day they start explaining C in C out etc Immediately as a student, we start converting all C language programs to C++ programs by changing printf to C out and scanf to C in. And from the third day, they start with object oriented programming features and it all depends on the faculty background. We will get to see lots of demos. If the faculty is from mechanical background, we will see examples like class car inherits class vehicle. If the faculty is from science background, then we will see class dog inherits class animal. And if the faculty is from English medium, then the examples would be class B inherits class A. And as a student, we get confused. What is this car, vehicle, animal, dog, A and B, etc. doing in our code? And we feel that C language is quite easier to learn. Why? Because out of eight weeks, we were in an impression that we understood the concepts. And in C++, from the day three onwards, we started feeling complexity in understanding the concept. And we say C is easy because it is procedural language. And C++ is very difficult because it is an object-oriented programming language. And the fear will never go from the student like the circus elephant. We know the story of circus elephant, right? When the elephant was younger, it will be tried to a peg to keep him from escaping. The elephant tries many a times to escape, but eventually it will give up when the elephant grows up becomes big and strong, still the elephant believes that the peg has the power to hold him back and will never run away, feeling that it can't escape. Likewise, many people still feel learning object-oriented programming is very difficult and that is the reason they say, oops, we can't understand with a very sad face. But trust me, object-oriented programming is not that difficult. And the real fact is, there is nothing new for you to understand in object-oriented programming. If you know what are you doing in your day-to-day -day activities, 
then it means that you are already aware of object oriented programming because we are living in object oriented programming world whenever we say an object oriented programming it consists of four major pillars data abstraction data encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism now in this video let us understand this concept in a simple non technical way let us assume that you are walking on the road and suddenly someone stops and ask you a question what are you doing these days and assume that the question has been asked by a high by type of friend means he or she might be a friend of friend in a party or a function you met that person or while you are traveling in a bus train or a flight the other person might be a co passenger now assume that if that person stops you and ask you this question what are you doing these days then what will be your response you might say i am currently working in so and so company or you might say i am studying in so and so institute etc and then we will be leaving right let us assume that again you are walking on the road and say someone stops you and ask you a question what are you doing these days and this time assume that the person who stopped you is a thickest friend of yours when you are studying in school or college days you both used to spend nearly 20 hours in a day together such a thickest friend suddenly vanished and now your friend is before you and asking you a question what are you doing these days then will your answer be i'm working in so and so company or studying in so and so institute and will you say bye but i don't think so right usually the reaction will be different at least in my friend circle usually when they meet after a long time they won't use mouth to start the conversation they use hands and legs to start the conversation and then we speak about all the things happens in the world family friends their jobs their relationship good news and bad news everything right till both the friends start getting blood in the ears we speak non stop right now once again assume that you are walking on the road and again the same question what are you doing these days but this time the question is not asked by a high by type of friend or a thickest friend not even in the wildest dreams also that person face never appeared so you don't know that person and if that person ask you what are you doing these days if that question is asked to me i might start saying my autobiography itself but usually you don't do that right the person who stopped you asked one question and you will start asking 100 questions like who are you when are you following me why do you want my details etc right now just observe the above scenario you are the person answering the question the question is also same what are you doing these days but is the answer is same means no right depending on the person who is asking you the question accordingly how much information you wanted to let them know only that much amount of information you will be sharing right and the above thing what we are doing in day to day life technically speaking it is said to be data abstraction and data encapsulation now let us assume that the third person who stopped you instead of asking you what are you doing these days let us say he informs you that his parents are very rich they have billions of rupees and they wanted him to do some business and they wanted him to do some business using that billions and further says he had studied post graduation in business management so he wanted to do the business from the scratch without using any property of his parent now 
what will be your advice will you say that start the business from the scratch or will you say inherit the property from your parents and start the business he might be having the capability of doing the business from the scratch and earn billions of rupees like his parents but usually we suggest the second option right why because it is money remember that since you can write the code from the scratch it doesn't mean that you should always start from the scratch if the code which is required for performing your task is already available then it is always advisable to reuse the code for example let us say you are developing an application called a scientific calculator and assume that you have already having the functionality written for calculator then instead of creating the application from the scratch we can reuse the code written within the calculator and if any new functionality has to be added or if the existing functionality has to be modified then we can perform that operations within the scientific calculator and this feature is technically called as inheritance which is the third pillar of object oriented programming now finally let us assume you as a person will have different characteristics and you possess different behaviors in different situations for example you might be a child for a parent you might be a parent for other children you might be a brother or sister for someone or husband or wife for the other you might be an employee or a student now depending on the different persons you are interacting at different situations your characteristics and behaviors changes which is technically called as polymorphism which is the fourth pillar of object oriented programming language where poly means many and morphism means forms so technically whenever an operation can change its behavior based on different scenarios we call it as polymorphism for example to understand in a simple terms let us say we have a plus operator you pass two integers for example 2 plus 3 then we will get the result as 5 whereas whenever we pass two strings to plus operator for example shaker plus srinivasan then instead of adding the values we will get the concatenation of the values and we will get shaker srinivasan so the plus operator functionality is changing in different scenarios so remember once again i repeat object oriented programming features are nothing new for us if you understand what are we doing in a day to day life you are already aware of these features only thing we need to understand is how to implement this practically within our application so in this module we shall understand the object oriented programming technically in detail with a whole lot of examples once you complete this module i strongly feel that you won't be saying oops with a sad face instead of that you will have a feel like you are enjoying a pie that is abstraction polymorphism inheritance and encapsulation so let us enjoy a pie in this module